In terms of your, some of the other questions you were asking about how do we do it, the time zones, I'd like to now in, introduce Pascal to come forward and talk a little bit about the tools, the plethora of tools that the platform has been using to provide the information. And again, remember what I'm asking you to do on the back of your yellow cards. What are the tools that work for you? Okay? Pascal, thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone that I haven't seen so far. And, um, the objective here is, as Brian has said now, to just run you quickly through the different tools that we have already in use, uh, especially this year. Um, and then maybe go a little bit into what other tools uh, there could be in, in for this year or in the future and get a little bit of a, give you a little bit of a feel and get a little bit of a feedback from you. Um, while Selena is putting up one of the tools there that we used in Busan. This is basically what uh, you all know. This is what, what we all see during the day. That's how we organize the telcos for the working groups in the, that uh, Nikita has just mentioned. So there's a number of um, working groups happening uh, during the week. Um, then we combine that in the usual summaries that we put up and we send out to the different members. So there's, there's that work in, in collating that and, and sending it out to the, to the members of the working group. And another tool that we have is info mails. We just send out information on, on things that we think is, is pertinent to your work and we send it usually to the members distribution list. Um, then on the website we have the thematic landing pages. Basically this is, uh, for example, the climate change working uh, with the working group, but also the information that's happening around, around climate change, climate smart toolkit you can see there. So there's the thematic part on the web page. Then we have virtual briefings. This is something that was mentioned before. We use a new technology called WebEx by T Cisco. It's basically a video conferencing tool, as you know from the regular video conferencing. But on your computer screen, it allows you to also do presentations on the side um, while you do that. So you have here, for example, Brian there coming back from Busan. We, we invite people to join us online and then here you run through the presentation online. It has two advantages. You can give feedback immediately. Obviously, you can talk to each other, you can present, and we can also tape the whole thing, edit it, and make it available to a, a wider audience online if they want to uh, go through it, YouTube channels and so forth. And using the same tool, for one-on-one -on -one interviews. You can see there's Christine Negra from the commission that Sonia works with on climate change down there. It's now slipped off a little bit is, is uh, Fiona. Those were one-on-one -on -one interviews done basically with that WebEx tool. Me and, and Bonn at the time and in New York and, and Washington and talking to each other on, on issues and then we put it in a little interview that you can download from the website in this case but also we on, on the YouTube channel. Um, I think it has gained at least in the in, uh, 150 hits on our website alone and on, on YouTube quite a lot more. Um, a similar tool to that is uh, the e-discussion. Yeah, we had the e-discussion earlier uh, on land, uh, which was a, a very uh, broader, more wider tool. There were uh, professional moderators that actually moderated uh, discussion groups, and we installed a separate um, part on the website, as you can see, with a little bit different look and feel. Um, on the, uh, in this case, on the um, rising global interest in farmland. Yeah, then we have World Cafes, as you've seen yesterday, so I'm not putting anything up there. So that's also a tool we use. Um, on the website, we have, for example, here in Busan and Durban, the tool of uh, participating with the members in, uh, in these uh, uh, large events and collecting that in, in synthesis reports. And there were for Busan about 17, for Durban also about that many. 
on, on the website that collated, in this case, ARD-relevant information that, uh, that was uh, coming out of the events. And um, yeah, just displayed and also circulated via email to the members. There you can see that that's then the section and it opens up like this and you can read into that on, online. <coughs> Here we have a tool that's used for the cut activity. It's a, a member, working group member login section. Looks like your usual Windows Explorer surface, but you're actually online. You, uh, you can create different folders there, and in, in the folders you have documents you share. In this case, cut activity. The working uh, group on agricultural research has also a similar tool starting up now. Basically, it's for collecting information for the members, but also draft draft information, working together on it. So all the members of the working group log in, they can drop and take information out. On the website, we have also a large section on, on publications. Here you, see, you can see the PKPs. Um, also, obviously, during last year, a major activity, uh, the, all the different PKPs, and you have the downloads there of the main studies and the working papers that were only published online. They were not printed. And then we obviously have the events like the AGA, the board meetings, and we have participation in knowledge fairs now. This year we had EFAT, which was a major event during the year, also using a lot of new technology. And the materials, I've uh, put up here the more thematic uh, posters. They, they were used for, for Busan. Um, for the workshops that we, that we, I think were four all together, and they were used to collate the information, They're not so much promotional, but more in terms of really trying to highlight some of the issues and trying to put that into a format that is more conducive to reaching people. So banners, posters, fly up, the flyers. And then I've mentioned the headsets. We're also handing these out for using the, the WebEx technology. We realize that some of you don't have headsets, so we're giving that out to people to get involved on the, with your laptop in the different activities that we're having with WebEx. Yeah, that was the, the summary from the, from the chat show that went on from the Agriculture Working Group at EFAT. Um, per, um, I don't want to go at that too much into that now. There's the research working group section. So that tool basically is the dedicated works uh, space of the agriculture research working group that Nikita spoke about. So there's information about agriculture research. There's a working group. There's key initiatives that uh, that the working group recommended, and readings and links also recommended by by the members of the working group. Here we have the information on the uh, commission. So the, the report that you've seen from Sonia, for those of you that were in the, in the session. So also, we are, um, the, the platform is into, integrated in the, in the coming up of that, of that report. And the members were asked to give their initial, <coughs> their input into the initial report of that, of that working group. Of that, uh, of that commission, sorry. Another tool that uh, might look not so intellectually interesting is the calendar on the website. And believe it or not, usually we have uh, quite a lot of hits on these pages. So if you give us information on workshops that are coming up, usually we, like the meeting today, we had throughout the year more than a thousand hits altogether. So there's, there's quite a lot of people reading this, and it's probably got something to do with the way that we do the search engine optimization for these pages. So once people start looking for the information, we know that most people look via Google. And therefore, it's very important that we optimize the information on the headers that they that they find the information here. So if you think of this, not just displaying information on the event itself, it also gives you an angle to display other information if you want it, that you want people to know. So messaging, in a sense, because this draws traffic more than thematic pages. Then we have the tool, the platform update. A number of you, the members, have received this throughout the year. It's an electronic tool. 
It allows us to give you brief information on what the platform is doing. The distribution is the members, but it's open to subscription. I can't scroll down now. It's not online. It's obviously just a picture of it. There's a subscription button, and it allows us also to track where people are actually interested in because the system uh, tells us where you clicked and how many people have forwarded it to other people. So we can see who's actually a good multiplier, and we can, we can see we do what you know the marketing companies are, are doing so we can see who's doing the forwarding to people that are very um, good in, in the networking part actually and it allows us to see which themes are of interest to the ones that have received um, the newsletter similar tool from the cut at tt uh, coming out in french as well now is the information note to the donor working groups it has a subscription basis. The distribution list is now about 250 to 300 people. So it's grown quite a lot. Um, there the information is put together by the TT and sent out to their own distribution list. And um, it's obviously cut up related information around the donor work you can see here. Here obviously at, at the next stage would be now looking into getting the information back at getting away from supply-driven information to demand-driven information, would be looking into more how can we display information that invites people to request knowledge and information to get that feedback going. And this would, would be the first step to, to display information that asks for that feedback and request. Yeah, now just wanted to talk a little bit about what other tools there could be. We have this already, it's, a, it's the display of a map, mapping exercise on ARD. We could do similar information gatherings, mappings. I think Nikita had something in, the, in his, on his mind there for the working group on agricultural research. That can be displayed online. You can then click on these different blue elements and retrieve further information on, on what, what is uh, there for donors in the countries. Uh, then another tool that you might know that could be used more for advocacy, especially on policy issues, trying to balance a little bit more the difference between information on agriculture, on farmers, and how you actually translate this into policy is a, is a difficult step in terms of communication. So this is a tool that you might know in a similar way uh, from your typical news show when you, when you see something on finances. It's difficult to, to visualize finances with real footage, with buildings and, or talking heads, people talking about finances. So what the news people use is, is a similar thing that we can create for online video. It means that we use cartoons and so forth that explain with a voiceover how a certain policy change could take place. It's fairly fairly easy to, um, to create. You probably need a little working group out of a communications person, someone from that particular company that's chosen, and a thematic person giving initial input and then create the video. It's probably about 5,000 euros to create a video like that. And then you would have to look into a proper distribution to, to promote and see that the video is actually watched by the people that you really want to, to reach. So that is one proposal where we could go a little bit further into. Then you all know Twitter. I don't want to talk too much about that. Obviously, we could do a bit more Twittering. And then we I have just listed here webinars. So it, as a possibility to use a bit more meaning, the WebEx tool that I just mentioned and that we'll show in the break at lunchtime, to use that more for proper, more educational training sort of purposes. So not just information of events, but to really set up a seminar online, a webinar. It's something that members could think of. The technology is there. Um, I think the invitations and so forth are easily manageable. Uh, the electronic back to the office report is something that could be used with the WebEx tool as well by int doing short interviews from people coming back one-on-one, -on -one, coming back here from the AGA, running through a s standard set of questions, 
uh, that reflect the standard set of a back to the office report, cut it down to two, three minutes, can be sent out via email, displayed online. People can just quickly, when they get to the office, don't feel like starting to work immediately, you can just watch a little video of what Frank thought about the AGA and then go on with their work. And then the, the other thing is obviously the context databasing could be, could be expanded both in, 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 in size and also in trying to collect more information on, on what people are working with and make that available online for other members in a, in a login scenario, obviously not for everyone on the internet to see. And the last thing that I have there is the roadshow of of the platform. And it's something that came up already at the middle of the year, I think, is basically the idea to build up a concept of taking these sort of events that we have here on a little thematic basis to the different member organizations. There was the idea of going to the Nordic countries already and basically taking the platform on the road to the members, drawing a couple other members of the region together and their staff and promoting the issues there. I think that's it. Thank you. Thanks very, thanks very much, Pascal. That took Pascal 10, 15 minutes to go through the methods by which the platform networks. Now, for those of you that haven't thrown away your World Cafe brochures from, from yesterday, sitting inside that World Cafe brochure is the synopsis of what Pascal just described this list of means of communication. Hence, as in my point to you, think about, from what you've heard from Pascal today, what works, what works for you? What works for your time zone? What works for your work schedule? What works for your colleagues that you want to network with in your organizations?